LTM and NB-IoT modules support a comprehensive set of 3GPP Release 14 features that are relevant for IoT applications, like improvements to power consumption, coverage, data rate, mobility, and positioning. On this episode, I will demonstrate how to get started with the LTM and NB-IoT module from UBOX, the Sarah R5 Evaluation Kit. Hi, welcome back to Tech Ventures. My name is Lizina, and I'm the Technical Marketing Engineer at Future Electronics. If you're interested in checking out any previous Tech Ventures videos, then please click the link on the screen or check out the description box below. Today, I'm going to unbox the Sarah R5 Evaluation Kit from Ubox. The module on this evaluation board is the Sarah R510 M8S. There are multiple variants of the Sarah R5, but this one in particular has an integrated Ubox M8 GNSS receiver chip and a separate antenna interface. And if you're not really interested in the GNSS receiver, well, there are other variants in this product series that offer the same functionalities without the GNSS receiver. The Sarah R5 series is an LTM and BIoT module with Secure Cloud. Now, what exactly does Secure Cloud mean? For UBlox design modules, it means that they are combined with an internal hardware-based secure element and a lightweight pre-shared key management system for state-of-the-art security. The overall solution protects your business critical data from device to cloud and ensures total control of the device certificate lifecycle, making this the ideal choice for devices that transmit critical and confidential information. Back to the evaluation kit. So inside, we have a USB cable, one cellular LTE antenna. This one was made by Tau Glass. And I'd like to give them a quick shout out. They have an antenna solution for all of your antenna problems. We have one GPS GLONASS antenna, a power adapter with the different interfaces for use in different regions, and finally, we have the main attraction the evaluation board. The evaluation board is made up of three boards. The lower one, called EVB WL3, contains the power supply and other peripherals for the UBlock Sara R5 series cellular module, such as the SIM card holder, the reset button, and the power switch. Then there's the cellular adapter board, called ADP R5. So this one contains the UBlock Sara R5 cellular module and the connectors to access the cellular module interfaces. These are antenna connectors for the cellular RF interface and the GNSS RF interface of the Sarah R5. Then finally, we have the GNSS adapter board called ADP-GNSS. This one contains the UBlox Neo M8N GNSS module. It also has a GNSS antenna connector and the USB connector for the module. There's a lot going on over here, but I promise it's not complicated at all. So first thing we want to do is to install the SIM card. Slide the latch door over here like so, and the little gate door will open. The SIM holder is for a 2FF SIM. A 3FF or 4FF sized SIM are okay too, but an adapter should be used. It's important to install it in the proper configuration like so, otherwise the SIM card will not be read. And another tip. Please ensure your SIM card provider can support LTEM networks. Depending on where you are, it might not be deployed yet. Next step, we need to connect the antennas. Connect the cellular antenna to the SMA connector on the ADP R5 board like so. Next, I'll connect the GNSS antenna to the SMA connector like so. And then after that, I'm going to connect the ACDC 12 volt power adapter to the power input connector. And the LED over here should light up blue. To enable the board power supply, flip the main power switch to the on position and the LED over here will light up green. Next, I want to communicate with the Sarah R5 using the UART interface. There are a few USB ports, so the correct one is the one on EB-WL3, so the big board. 
and is marked as J501. The LED light turns blue and two COM ports are enabled. The main UR interface of the cellular module is over the first COM port opened by the driver. You can always use TerraTerm to communicate to the SER R5 module, but the best way is through uBlox's own cellular evaluation software for Windows called mCenter. It is free of charge and really easy to use. First thing I'm going to do is to set up my port. So I'm going to pick the first one over here. Uh, make sure you have the appropriate information on the side here. So 115200 for the baud rate, eight bits for data, um, one bit for stop and none for parity, select OK. And then I'm going to select the connect button. Next, I'm gonna hit the initialization button and look at that. You can see a lot of the information is already populated without even having to enter a single AT command. This section over here shows the modem date and time. Here's the power saving side. And then I'm going to hit the Get Info button, and I can see the firmware version, the manufacturer ID, the device model. A nice feature that mCenter has are these buttons on the top. They allow different features to be explored, like sending or reading an SMS, and enabling GNSS, all without having to enter a single AT command. And if you would like to access the AT terminal, you can always do so through the button right over here. A separate window will pop up like so. One thing I would like to mention is that the APN or access point name of your SIM card is not automatically set. You can set it using the AT command on the screen. If you're considering adding LTM or NB-IoT to your design, I would encourage you to evaluate mCenter and uBlox modules. As you can see from today's tutorial, it was pretty quick and easy to get started. I'd like to point out that the Sara R5 modules are 5G ready, meaning that customers will be able to upgrade their deployed devices via software once 5G LTE has been rolled out by network mobile operators, making this module a great fit to adapt with future technology enhancements. To learn more about uBlox, 5G, LTM, or NB-IoT modules, please contact your local Future Electronics representative or visit us online at futureelectronics.com. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time on Tech Ventures with Lazina.